Okay, today we will be using the Taylor series to find out for cos half x and x is equal to pi. First of all, we have to differentiate the first three equations and then subbing pi into the following equation to get the given values. Hence, this is the equation for cos half x for the first three terms and then simplifying it to get minus half x minus pi bracket plus 1 over 48 bracket x minus pi cubed plus dot 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 now after using the Desmos website do the two graphs look exactly the same? no what can you do to make the two graphs look more similar? my answer would be to increase the number of terms in the Taylor series to make the to make it more accurate now we have to differentiate another four terms and then sub pi to the following equation and then getting the given values so now this will be the final answer for the Taylor series with the new terms added and this is how it looks like now after sub putting the new values into decimals do the, two, do the new graph look more similar? My answer will be yes. And what conclusion can you make about the approximation of a function using Taylor series? If you use the entire formula, the graph will look more accurate. And lastly, the three graphs seem to be exactly intersecting at x equal pi. So why do you think that's the case? My answer would be because we had to sub x equal pi into each equation. That's why all of them will be intersecting at x equal pi.